Welcome back to yet another review. This time around we have the battle of the DC phones. Yes, the DC phones. If you're wondering what DC stands for, DC simply means dirt cheap. So this is the dirt cheap category of phones. Today we're going to go through these three. Samsung, Nokia and Techno. The battle begins. Let's unbox this. Let's do them one at a time. We'll start with the Samsung Keynote 2. There you have it. Now I don't know if I need my trusted... So, let's see. What do we have here? We have... Okay. That's it. I'm the Samsung Keynote 2 with a phone, battery, and a charger. I mean, this video, we shouldn't take too long with this video because. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. This is the Nokia 103. Okay. Okay. The charger. It comes with the phone, battery, charger. Virtually the same items as the Samsung. Okay. Alright. The Techno T349. Okay, okay, so this one requires a trusted knife. Phone, phone, battery, charger. Start with the charger. I don't know why they, how the chargers are. It's strange because this one, the charger is in a wrapper, the battery is in a wrapper, the phone itself is not in a wrapper. But all the other phones, every item had its own wrapper. Anyway, it is what it is. Let's move on. Alright, three items. Battery, phone, charger. The battle is very simple. We're going to put the batteries in the phone. We're going to power them on. Look at the interface. We'll go through the menu briefly. We need to find out who's France, who's Croatia, and who's Belgium. Samsung Keystone 2. It's a dual band, GSM dual band, 900, 1800 megahertz, 38.5 millimeter, 1.52 inch TFT display, mobile try and game. Well, that's it. The Nokia. 103 All right, well, that's it and The techno mobile t349 All right more information network GSM GSM 900 DCS 1800 megahertz, megahertz. dimension 109.3 by 47.3 by 14.2 millimeter display 1.77 inch resolution 128 by 160 camera back camera memory 4 megabyte rom plus 4 megabyte ram connectivity bluetooth 
Battery capacity 1150 milliamp power. Out of the gate, the Techno Mobile seemed to have more features. Anyway, that's that. Let's put the batteries in the phone. We'll start with the Samsung. Okay. Um, okay. It says FM radio. See, even though there's no indication on the box, on the phone itself, it says FM radio. A little branding. This is where you charge the phone. The mouthpiece is at the bottom. It feels extremely light. So it also has a flashlight. I mean, it's strange because it has all these features, but there's no information on the box. No information on the box. I don't know, we have all this space, empty space. You can just write all this stuff. I mean, it would be a good uh, marketing well, marketing tool, I mean, to, to have all this inf information, radio, flashlight, all it says is fits in your hand, fills up your life. Fills up my life with what? Anyway, I hope I don't, okay, so you just single SIM and that's it. So let's put the batteries in, let's see, okay, well, let's power it on. Okay, there's no juice. So I'm going to power this on and then we'll come back. We'll move on to the Nokia 103. Nokia 103. All right. Has a headphone jack, f torch, flashlight, torch, mouthpiece. It even has a place to hook up a keychain. Color coordination is, 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 is cute. It's cute. It's not bland, like all black, like our good friend Samsung. I mean, it has some color to it. I mean, yeah. Well, it's light, extremely light, same as the Samsung. Here you slot in the power cable to charge the phone. Okay. All right, let's, let's open it up. I think it opens the same way as the Samsung. Find a wedge. It's also not a dual SIM, it's a single SIM. Okay. Okay. Here the speakers at the back. Can't remember the Samsung where the speaker was, but let's see if there's any juice. Okay. Okay. Insert SIM. Demo. Let's try this. Demo. Game. Okay. Alright. At least there's some juice. I'm just turn it off and put this on the charge as well. And finally, we have the Techno T349. Same information. Okay, we have a camera on the back. Techno looks classy. Texture too is some like aluminium, very light aluminium, or it could be plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. It's plastic. Sorry, it's plastic. But it looks, it looks, hmm, it looks premium. Yeah, looks premium. Cute. Very light. Very light. Techno branding. What I like about this is even the D-pad or the pad. It has a little circular, circular display to it circular display which which makes it a little more um, unique and interesting so as you use it you put your hands on it you 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 feel the the rivets some small small rivets in it beautiful let's put the battery in okay um here's the uh mouthpiece and this is where you charge the phone yeah this is where we charge okay this is where you charge your phone and there's a torch torch light so this is the 3.5 millimeter I like the color coordination black and gold type this is just a let's remove it let's peel it off not bad not bad I like it okay let's 
put the battery in. Oh. All right. Okay, so this is dual SIM plus a memory slot. Could be more expensive out of the three. But I'll, I'll confirm. If not, then this is great value so far. All right. Okay, now it has a little bit more weight to it as well now because the battery is a little bit thicker. There goes the 1150 milliamp battery we are boasting about. So let's put it on and see if it has some juice. Okay, experience communication now. Yeah, you heard it. You heard it right. Okay. Unlock, press, okay. Keypad unlock. We have some juice, about 50% juice. So I'm going to charge this up. Ooh. That's some serious volume. The Samsung Keynote 2. This phone could not even charge. So out of the gate, we have a loser. Five megapixel camera and flash. Now, I don't know where the camera is, but I see a flash. Nokia's already losing the battle. You mentioned you have five megapixel camera. I don't see any camera here. No front face camera, none in the back. I see a speaker grill. So we're losing here. And strangely enough, that's virtually the only feature captured on the box. So Nokia is losing here. The techno is giving us a lot of information. Biggest 5C, 1150 milliamp battery. Built-in FM antenna, palm, palm chat, signal anywhere, Facebook, dual charge mode, torch, 3.5 millimeter general earphones. Now, based on the charging, I vouch for the battery capacity and I vow for the dual charge mode. Because I tried it with the USB charger cable that came with it, it worked. And I tried using the DC jack and it equally worked. What I will try now is the built-in FM antenna, 3 millimeter general earphones and the torch. Put it on, unlock. Let's find the radio, the FM radio. Oh, it's right here, FM radio. Country setting, Angola, Burundi, hold up. Auto search and save channels, yes, okay. It's working. So Techno's up here. Nokia somewhere here. And Samsung is right here. So this is how it's looking so far. Push these guys out of here. All right. So the last test we need to do. Okay, let me try the torch on both of them. Okay, let me do it one at a time, so, so not to confuse, so not to confuse myself. Okay, so I've been rooting for you. <laughs> I've been rooting for you. Okay, here's the torch. Thank you. Torch, bright, brightness level, SOS, help, SOS. This is crazy. There you go, SOS. Check that out. SOS, what more do you want? Okay, let me put the SOS off. Man, this is blinding. It's off. Alright, so let's put the torch. Alright, see? Not to be biased. Not to be biased. You know, this is this is fair review. This is fair review. For some strange reason, I don't know if I need to put a SIM in this for, 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 for the features to work. I put in a SIM. And it's working. Uh, it's working all right so we can go to the menu you can see it's working speaker clock flashlight so 
for the Nokia, you have to put in a SIM in order for you to go through its features. While the Techno, it, it does that irrespective of you having a SIM or not. Man, quite bright, but I'm sure the settings you can work on the display light. Here's the flashlight. Let's put it on. We're good. Uh, whether it's bright or not, but it's flashlight, that's good. Um, it has speaker clock. I think. Let's go. If you go, if you used Nokia before, you would. Here's the radio. Now, plug in headphone. You see? It says plug in headphone. This is what I was expecting. But te for techno, it has an inbuilt antenna, which is a plus. There. I got a message. Man, I got messages coming through. Okay, radio, select. I plugged in, select. There we go. Let's see. So, okay, sorry. I think you should be able to put it on speaker, right? Uh, should be able to put it on. Okay, open speaker. There we go. Empty. Okay, let me. Let me tune the radio and see. Uh, search and save. Okay. Auto search and save. Okay. Five. Option. Auto search and save. I've selected it, but nothing is happening. Channel list. Okay. That's fine. So, okay, let's see. It's supposed to search. Why isn't it searching? Okay, manual search. Come on, Nokia. I was beginning to have hope on you, but I don't know. It's, it, it, it can't seem to search for stations. Okay, let me just close the, the, the speaker and just use the, maybe that. Okay, okay. Okay, I hear, okay. Okay, let me see, hold on. I hear something through the earpiece. I need to search. So that's not that search right select is it this one oh, it's this one right? go back go back option man come on let's do a manual manual search select I don't know, it seems it doesn't want to search for radio stations, FM stations, so, um, well, I don't have time. This is, this is a downer for me, because I really, I was really hoping Nokia would pull through for at least, at least the radio, the FM. But anyway, at least the torch is working. You know, there's no waste any time. In general, let's see. What else do you have? Radio, clock, calculator, games, tone setup, the usual suspects. Okay. But FM radio, it failed. And in, in DC phones, I don't know in your countries, but in developing countries, sometimes the, the, the FM radio station is very, very valuable. I mean, it's a, it's a way of keeping in touch, listening to what's happening in the capital or in the country. Um, and a way of entertaining yourself. This should be able to work. I don't know why mine is not working, but hey, in a competition, if you can't deliver, you lose out. I'm done. Okay, out of the three, it is clear who's the winner. So, in the spirit of good showmanship and, uh, and fair play, 
even though the Samsung was more expensive, followed by Techno and Nokia. Here are the rankings. First place goes to Techno T349. Second place goes to Nokia 103. And the third place is the Samsung Keynote 2. Thank you for watching this video. If you're gonna go out and get a dirt cheap phone, out of these three, the Techno is the sure winner. It looks beautiful. It looks nice. It feels good. It has great color combination. Two ways of charging it. USB and normal DC jack. It has a, the, the control pad. Feels good. Dual SIM. Flashlight. Inbuilt FM antenna. Camera. Hmm. How do I shoot? Oh, okay, this is the WeChat. Currently not available. Okay, that's the WeChat. Let's see. What is it the phone? What is this? Phone book, okay. So how do I... Memory card removed. Use phone. Oh, the camera. There it is.